What's going on YouTube? What's going on people? Today's video, I want to talk about the benefits of uh, having your own authority. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that are kind of leery about getting their own authority because uh, they don't know where to get their loads from, they don't know where to get their work from, so Let's see if I can help you guys out a little bit. But first, let's talk about the benefits of uh, getting your own authority. Um, right now, let me show you guys what I'm looking at right now. I'm at Evergreen right now. It's a mess. Don't know what the hell's going on over here. But usually this line goes pretty fast. This is what it looks like at Evergreen right now. I'm trying to exit with my load. Look at that ocean. It's a nice view right there. Yeah, I have that view practically every day, fellas. Every day. But yeah, look at that. I think it's jam packed. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. But anyways, talk to you guys about the benefits of having your own authority. If you are leased on to a company right now, and say for instance you've been leased on for a year, two years, this is one of the benefits that you get. Have you noticed that your insurance never never goes down? Monthly, I think you're paying like 700 and something bucks a month just for insurance. Well, that's one of the biggest benefits that you get when you have your own authority. Uh, when I first started my authority, uh, my monthly insurance payment on my truck was uh, seven, seven hundred and something, seven hundred and seventy, seven hundred and seventy-eight, something like that. Almost eight hundred bucks. Well, I renewed my authority. I believe it was in February or March, something like that. My monthly insurance, truck, cargo, and all that crap. It's 5.30 right now. So, that's one of the biggest benefits that you get from having your own authority. Now, can you have your own insurance without having your authority? Don't know. Don't know. I've asked that question. I've asked that question to the broker, the, the broker that, that got me my insurance. She said no. But, I don't know. You know. She sounded a little leery when she told me about it. But, it was just a question that I asked. I, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't going to give my authority. It, it was just a question that I, that I had asked her. And she said no. Now, this is the thing too. Hmm. If you go... If you go to a company and say you want to haul their freight, but you have your own authority, and I'm telling you this because this happened to me. Uh, so you go to the company and you tell them, look, I have my own authority, da, 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 I have my own uh, my DOT, my, my DBA and all that good stuff, uh, can I haul your freight? they're going to do is they're going to run your insurance to see if it's up to par. Like I've said before, every insurance company is graded uh, with the letter D, A, B, C, A plus, A, B plus, B, C, I mean C plus, C, D plus, D. So they're going to run your insurance to see where your 
your insurance company is at, where it's graded at. And then there's some uh, companies that their insurance will not let you haul their freight because you're not under their insurance. So that's one of the downfalls about having your, your own authority. But that's one of the, the, the benefits that you get, that your insurance drops every year if you stay accident and uh, ticket free, which is a good thing, you know, especially if you're, you're a pretty good driver, you know, and you don't get caught. <laughs> so that's one of the benefits. The next benefit is having your own authority. You can pretty much call for anybody. And as long as you have the right coverage and it, it takes, I don't know, maybe a half an hour to start hauling for that other company. It, it don't take long. And the process, all the process is, is uh, you email, you call your broker, your insurance broker, and have them put the name of the company that you're going to call for and have that certificate emailed to that company. As soon as that company gets that certificate, you're good to go. Uh, let me show you guys what that certificate looks like. See, down there on the bottom, it should have the company's name on it. So as soon as you get your certificate, well, as soon as they get their certificate, you're good to go. You're good to start hauling for them. And this is what the original looks like. You know, if you're not hauling for anybody, that's what it's going to look like. It's not going to have no name on there. So... As soon as you have your broker send that certificate in, you're good to go. You can you can start hauling for that company. And like I said, uh, most broker companies, most, most uh, insurance brokers, as soon as you give them a call, I mean, they're, they're on it. They're sending certificates all day long. So that's one of the benefits that you get, you know. Uh, you don't have to, I mean, if, if the company doesn't have the freight, you know, you can just go to another company. You don't have to stick with that one and stick it out, you know. Uh, there's companies like, like for instance, this morning, uh, uh, I'm hauling for this one company. And, and what you want to do is you want to have... The insurance broker also send you a copy to your email or fax it over to you and you want to keep a copy for yourself in the truck as well um like for instance this morning i'm calling for one company another company called me and said hey victor check it out i have uh two loads a day going from carson or to fontana and they're they're dropping hooks i mean you're gonna do a live pickup in carson but you're going to go drop it in Fontana and that pays uh, 300 bucks. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. You know, that's, that's good money. You know, from Carson to Fontana is like, uh, what, 40 something miles. So it's not bad. So as soon as I'm done with this one, I'm going to go drop it off at their yard. And then I'm going to go haul that, that other stuff. I'm going to go do a pickup and then go drop it off in Fontana and then work with them all next week because they'd have, they have that same account all next week. So I could probably do two or three a day, depending on how, how fast they, they load up that trailer. So it's not bad, you know? So them are the benefits that you have when you have your own authority. Uh, I know when you first get your authority, you know, it just seems like a lot because they're asking for a lot of money from you, but takes money to make money, fellas. takes money to make money. If you want to be your own boss, that's what a boss has to do. He, he has to give up money to uh, be able to run his own authority and be his own boss, you know? So there's a lot of benefits in getting your own authority, but at the same time, act professional. 
act professional if, if you commit yourself to something, you got to go all the way through, you know, if you tell that, that company, you know what, yes, I'll, I'm on board, I will pull them loads for you, be there, be there, because this is your, your company's reputation online, you know, uh, you start screwing up, the word will get around that you're not reliable. And that's one thing you don't want to have in this industry is not being reliable. But yeah, them are the benefits that you get from uh, having your own authority. You know, uh, you can make as much money as you want and you can work as much as you want. So keep that in mind, fellas. Well, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to help somebody out. Have a good day. We'll see you on our next video.